Gravitational redshift comes from Einstein's general theory of relativity and occurs when light loses energy as it moves out of a gravitational well. First, let's look at what a gravitational well actually is. We can picture the universe as made up of a fabric of space and time. Space-time is distorted by massive objects, such as stars and planets. A great analogy for this is setting a bowling ball on a trampoline. The ball distorts the trampoline's shape and creates a well surrounding the ball. The heavier the ball, the bigger the well around it. The same is true for heavier planets and stars. Second, let's briefly talk about a few important properties of light, which behaves both as a wave and a particle. A light particle, known as a photon, is massless and always travels at the same speed, roughly 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. A light wave has a measurable frequency equal to the inverse of its period. We can describe the energy of light using the Planck relation. Energy equals Planck's constant times frequency. The light's frequency is directly related to its energy, implying that lower energy light will appear a different color than high energy light within the visible spectrum. For example, the frequency of blue light is about 645 terahertz, which means an energy of 4.3 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. Red light only has a frequency of 430 terahertz, which would correspond to 2.8 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. Say we are observing a large star somewhere outside the Milky Way. We know that around it, spacetime is distorted. Light coming from the star essentially has to climb out of the well created by the star before it is able to reach us. This climb takes energy because the photons are working against the star's gravitational pull. We see this exact same concept in our everyday life. Using the classic example of tossing up a ball in the air, the ball loses kinetic energy as it moves upward and slows down. This is a rather unexceptional phenomenon, but with light we run into a little bit of a problem. Light has a universal speed, meaning it propagates forward at the same rate no matter what. If its speed is constant and it can't slow down, where does the energy to leave the star's gravitational well come from? Looking back at the equation energy equals Planck's constant times frequency, to account for the decrease in energy as light leaves the star, the light's frequency must also decrease. On the visible spectrum of light, we can see that lower frequencies appear more red, which is why this is known as gravitational redshift. This effect varies depending on the mass of the star. Light coming from a very massive object needs more energy to climb out of the bigger gravitational well, so its frequency decreases more and vice versa. Our understanding of this effect has several cool practical applications and has enabled physicists to study faraway star systems in greater detail. One example is the possibility to work backwards from the amount of redshift to determine the mass of a star many light years away.